Hi everyone and welcome to my little makeover video. I'm gonna show you how I achieved this look on a budget and I did everything myself with two little girls as well. I have this little pattern in my back garden and I thought I will give it a little makeover just to make it more enjoyable and usable. And I tried to clean it up and remove as much of the flaky paint as I could. The reason why we didn't go ahead with removing the, all the paint is because this is going to be a very busy area when we do some makeovers on the house. There will be builders going around and this is just a quick temporary makeover for now. We went to Binky and we uh, picked up a new paint. And Miss and the roller, Emilia's already ready, it's so sunny. Mommy, and we I got this. Is Good Home Sun Re Extra Weather Protection in Breckenridge Smooth. So hopefully this is the colour that I need. So let's get started. I will definitely recommend this paint if you need to paint something outside and now I'm just gonna let you listen to my conversation with the girls while doing the work so enjoy Why? so you're not gonna step on the wet paint Because until it dries, we cannot step on it. Here is the first coat. I already started doing the second one there. 
And you can see how good it looks. And just gonna do a second and it will all dry. And tomorrow we're gonna style it. Hopefully it's not gonna rain. We are now there. I'm going to plant these. They used to be inside, but I think they will survive here. And we got these nice terracotta pots from yeah, they have found a little bird. <laughs> yeah, this little terracotta pot are from B and Q. I can't remember how much they were, but yeah, they're really pretty. And we've got stones. And Okay. Are you gonna help me? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Now it's time for the finishing touches. I wanted to bring a lot of greenery in here. I wanted to make it nice and airy and enjoyable place. And yeah, stay tuned until the end and I'll show you a quick tour around. finally finished I cannot be happier with the final result mm. let me just show you around okay so let's start from this corner I think uh, you saw that I reported this I had this in my lounge in the previous house if you remembered I needed a bigger pot so it lives here um, I don't know, it still has the leaves down, but I think it needs a few days to recover. It looks better than yesterday. I keep on top of the water. Here I have a bench that I had in the previous house. We had it in the garden. Last year we sanded it and repainted it. And you see it's held very well. And this one is very, very old. We bought it, I think 2013, and it's still great. And we got it from Home Bargains a long time ago cushions are from Poundland. These are not outdoor cushions but as you can see all of this here is covered so there's no rain coming inside. I meant to bring some black from this corner to this corner. I had this hanged in. This again I bought it from Home Bargain 2013 the same with bench and in the corner is the only <laughs> I managed to basically put some nails in the corner and um, hanged these plants, fake plants from Poundland and the pots are from Poundland as well. You may remember that I had this hanged in my kitchen in the previous house. And moving on, I added again, that one is the uh, pot, like the holder or pot. The thing is from Poundland and the plant as well. And then I got this rug. You probably saw that I switched it around. I got this rug from Poundland. This is a plastic outdoor rug and it's so nice. And it will be easy to wash and the kids can just play in here. And this corner is more like a black corner. So 
the coffee table i used to have it in my lounge in my previous house this is from ikea and i've got some of my cactuses down there and a candle when i've got a tray with this is the folk plant the one is a real plant and some roses and the other plant that we potted when this rack i got from Vienna is so cute so I thought I basically I kind of made two different areas so these I brought some of the natural colors from the bench to this corner and then I've got this chair that I got off marketplace for five pounds is a rattan chair and it's so comfy and nice. I love it and the cushion is 10 pounds from Vienna Again, I hanged some of these full ivy plant. Uh, this again is from Poundland, and that is the macrame that I made myself. It used to be in the kitchen. And, ah oh yeah, I forgot. I put lights um, all over, just going up in here. And in there, I have a thing that basically these lights are solar powered and it has a sensor so they will switch on as soon as the sun is down and it's, everything here is so beautiful and i also bought three hanging pots with beautiful plants i got this from um, home bargains and they were 3.99 i think or 3.49 i can't remember it's under four pounds one and this is how everything turned out I just love it so much it's just so more airy and nice and don't mind the mess in the lounge I didn't manage to clean up after the girls played in there before school and yeah I couldn't be happier it looks so much nicer airy I can just have friends over for a coffee and we have a nice area outside and even if it rains I can have my coffee outside and this concludes the video of today. I hope you enjoyed this little makeover. Like I said, this is not the final thing. Uh, I just wanted to give it a little makeover just because this area is going to be very busy when we break through that wall. And I just wanted to make it cute for this like autumn, nice coffee meeting. No meetings. I'll give my friends over here for coffee so yeah that's everything i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one love you, love you.